I may not be carrying a gun, but uh, what I do is as important as uh, the rest of the soldiers uh, in the field. For soldiers like Corporal Iman, this is one of their workstations. And with this as a weapon, they are capable of cooking for up to hundreds of soldiers training overseas. They might look like any other soldier, but they're capable of doing something even I can't do very well. Cook. And plus, fly to different parts of the world to do just that. So it's easy to see why they're called flying chefs, national servicemen who are trained to cook. Training begins right after basic military training. Chosen to be supply assistants, they are further identified to be trained in cooking. They undergo courses such as the basic food handling course, and Faisal here, for example, is attending the executive catering course. They learn the tricks to preparing food in bulk, not to mention food nutrition, as well as kitchen safety. First week, I've learned personal hygiene and safety in the kitchen, where you store all the utensils properly, make sure that the floor is not wet and slippery, no oil stains on the floor. Second week, then we went into the kitchen and started a basic cooking. With all that training in hand, these flying chefs are then always on standby for an overseas posting. This can be as short as a two-week deployment to an overseas exercise or a year-long stint to a cookhouse in an overseas training facility. Iman, for example, was deployed to an overseas training centre for two weeks to support our soldiers in exercise. They sometimes use this mobile field kitchen to cook. Iman, can you tell me a little bit about this mobile field kitchen? Okay, uh, this uh, mobile field kitchen is uh, actually for exercise purposes uh, or in a peacekeeping. It is uh, more on serving uh, the soldiers during their their morale when, whenever they are, when they are down. Because you can serve them like hot meals yes. instead of rations, yeah. so it'll taste better. Yes, it is. What's it that you're cooking now? Okay, uh, right now, I'm preparing this uh, chicken porridge. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a simple dish uh, to cook uh, for you guys to test. Do you want to try uh, serving it? Okay. So. Cooking in the jungle is never as easy as it looks and cooking from scratch for about 250 men, for example, might take up to two hours. Iman, can you tell me what kind of challenges and difficulties you face when cooking? Um, one of the challenges and, uh, and difficulties that I faced uh, in Thailand was once we are deployed, uh, we are to set up everything and cook as fast as possible for at least 30 minutes for the soldiers to have a quick, quick hot, hot meals for themselves instead of combat rations. He might not do what you think a soldier does, but flying chefs are no less important. They just play a slightly different role. I find it great. Uh, I, I find it that uh, I, I make the soldiers proud, uh, cook hot meals for them, and they are so happy about it. Yeah, I was so much appreciated down there. Good.